So in my lesson today, I'll be teaching a year two mixed ability math set. Um, we will be looking at really moving from stage 3A edition to stage 3B edition. Stage 3A looks at the children using jottings to work out addition calculations, whereas 3B is looking to more formal written method. Previous to this lesson, we were using the 3A edition uh, stage where they were using their jottings, they were drawing sticks and dots, whereas today we were looking at partitioning the numbers into tens and ones and then recombining to find the answer. My class TA will be working with a lower ability group um, where they will be looking at using apparatus, um, like the base 10, to help them visually see the partitioning of the numbers and recombining to get the answer, whereas high ability children will be looking at using the written method and looking at numbers that bridge the 100, bridge 100. Okay, so we're going to have a look at our partition and recombine. So here is our calculation. This is what we can see over there that would be on the board, up on the wall. Our stage 3 being, that's what we're going to be moving on to. That's what we want to start using, our written methods instead of our jottings. So let's start here. What is the value of each of these digits? So uh, I want you to do this one for me. And then I'm going to do this one. So what number is this? Let's read the number sentence first. Everybody together. 47 and 35. To read one out from me. Riley. Um, Should you do the first one? 24 plus 23 equals. Right, so we've got 24 plus 23 equals. Now, who can make... Should we write it in here? 24. 24. That's it. Three equals. Three equals. Three That's it. Make sure, double check, we've got our numbers around the right way. Yes, I have. We've all done that? Yeah. yeah. Fantastic. Right, let's just wait for Jay. Perfect. Now, who can make them out of our base 10 for us? Do you want to all give it a go? That's it. Is in the ones, isn't it? Okay, I'm going to partition this number here. Let's go. So three tens and five ones. Three tens and five ones. Is that correct? No. Why is that not correct? Why is that not correct? Jessica? Because um, if it's the tens, it has to be a zero after the, after the three. Yeah, after three. Are three tens three? If we were counting in tens, would three tens be three? If we were counting three tens, ten, twenty, thirty, our three tens is thirty because it's in the tens position there. Now this is a really important part for us to do. Lots of you were forgetting this a little bit yesterday and that made it a bit trickier to do all the other steps that we needed to do. So it's really important today that we do our first step, partition the numbers. Okay, now I need to add the ones. Who would like to come up on the board and show me what two numbers I need to write in there? Josie. Who can remember what we'd done yesterday? What did we have to do first? We had to, Jay? Yeah, we had to partition our numbers, didn't we? So who can... Add them all together again. Perfect. That's our little rhyme, which we say all together. So add, add the, the ones, ones add, add the tens, tens put them, them back together, together again. again. Well done, Riley. Right, so let's have a look at our ones. Can we put our ones in our box below? Use your you can use your base ten to help you to have a look. Okay. So seven, let's all do that together and just check. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Perfect. So we've done our first part. We've add the ones. Now what do we need to do? Add the ones. Add the tens. Okay, next step. Add the tens. Who would like to come and add the tens? If you think you know again, I want to see you working that out in your head, ready to give me the answer, Patricia. Patricia. 